we've obviously got something quite exciting going on. Um, okay. There's a lot of bodies in, so looking forward to seeing what on earth is going on today. So Lassie, you ready for it? I want to introduce you to uh, Ben, Ben Atiga. All right, we're, we're really quite fortunate to have Ben along this morning. Um, ben works with us in Edinburgh Rugby. Uh, first of all, guys, um, thanks for thanks for having me. Look, I, I know sometimes someone has no idea who they are just comes walking in and has a chat. Sometimes it can get a little bit draining, and I totally understand that. Completely understand it. Um, for me, it's it's just about giving back. I think I'm at a stage in my life where I love to just uh, give back. I love to support. It's the role that I play. Um, at, at Edinburgh Rugby now, where I'm here to support the players. Um, so being able to give back to the community is a big thing for me. Uh, it's something that I've, I guess, I've grown up um, living those values, uh, the way I was raised. It's to always service your community and uh, I guess service your village and, and the way we say it in, in the islands. Sport to me was everything, and um, which I'll explain later was probably the wrong thing to think about all the time. I was so young. And, uh, you know, obviously there was so much publicity around uh, myself and, and the achieve, my achievements to be able to cope with the All Blacks. But also what came with that was a lot of criticism as well. And so as a young person, I wasn't really able to take that that well. So all I knew how to do, guys, all the way to that very stage was, uh, uh, was how to win. I only knew how to win. So when it came time to face failure, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> And within the space of about three or four years, I walked away from rugby. I gave up, okay? And in that time, uh, was probably one of the most darkest places in my life. I didn't feel motivated to do anything, and I didn't want to talk to anyone about it. I, uh, you know, I was angry at everything. I was angry at everything, except the one thing I, I, I couldn't face, and that was myself. It's been great to come in and, and speak to the kids, and, and to, just to share some of my story and, and, and see what, whether that's relevant to, to the things that they go through in their life as well and hopefully they can take something from it. I think the big thing um, is is linking them in with some real life role models uh, within the Wellbeing Hub curriculum at Royal High. We try to to have some input in, 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 in that but it's more watching documentaries on, on people that we might look up to but actually having a real figure in front of us, it, it just brings that into reality really and to hear some of the stories and some of the personal qualities that people like Ben have used through their lives. Um, I just think it, it, it brings these ideas to rea reality and it allows the kids to engage with a person who is far more interesting than uh, any of the teachers um, within this building or, or anyone that we can offer. The fact that you know the Prosper programme can link us in with Real, real people, real life role models is, is a, a huge thing for us and has a, a massive impact on the young people. What I want to say guys is just like, you know, whatever it is you're going through, okay, just work, you know, reach out to people, talk to people, talk out these these challenges that you go through because it's the only way we do it, okay? Don't end up like I did, talking to no one for two years and giving up the best dream of your life.